Welcome to the Shortel phone training video tutorial. My name is Chris and I am an instructor at Shortel. In this tutorial I will discuss the physical layout of our Shortel IP phones and demonstrate how to perform basic tasks like answering calls, transferring calls, conferencing calls, putting callers on hold, and doing basic phone configuration. This tutorial is designed for a user who has little or no experience using our Shortel IP phones. We recommend that you go through the appropriate user guide and computer-based training course if you need more detailed information about any of the topics we cover in this tutorial. Please go to our website at www.shortel.com to locate these resources. Shortel offers a wide variety of different phone models for different types of users. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will be using primarily our Shorephone IP265 and at times the IP560. Let's discuss the physical layout of the phone. Your Shortel IP phone consists of the phone body, a base, a handset, and a handset cord. The handset cord plugs into the body of the phone, like this. Be very careful to not confuse the handset jack with the headset jack. If you do accidentally plug in your handset to the headset jack, you will not hear dial tone when you plug it in. It's most likely that your Shortel phone will already be assembled when you get it. In case you receive one that has not been assembled, I'll walk you through how to put it together. First of all, do you notice that there are two clips at the top of the phone base pillars? The back of the phone base also has a clip. To assemble your phone, you would first turn over the phone body. Now, orient the base of the phone so that the phone base clips slide into the slots in the bottom of the phone body. When they're in, you should hear a clicking sound. So after you hear the clicking of the clips into the slots of the phone, your phone base should be attached. Now that your phone base is attached, let me point out the jack for the network cable. It is located on the left side of the base of the phone. To the right of your primary jack is a secondary network jack. The secondary jack allows you to daisy chain Ethernet connectivity to your PC from your phone. Please reference our computer based training courses if you need more information on how to plug in your phone's power adapter and network cable. The light on the top right corner of your phone is called the indicator LED. This light blinks when you have an incoming call or if you have an unheard voicemail message. You might have noticed that if you have an IP265 phone, you have six line keys on the top right of your phone, seen here. In fact, the middle digit in our phone model indicates the number of line keys on your phone. So, the IP265 has six line keys, while the IP230 has three. Your line keys can be configured to function as line appearances, monitored extensions, or as speed dial keys. The function keys are on the bottom right of your phone, seen here. These keys help you perform basic telephone tasks, like putting a caller on hold or transferring a call. We will go over these in more detail in upcoming units. The dial pad is to the left of the function keys and is seen here. If you are using a handset and you take your handset off hook, meaning you take it off of the body of the phone, your line appearance key lights up, which is seen here as the upper part of your custom keys. Since your handset is off hook, you will at this point hear dial tone. If you press the headset key, seen here, audio is then sent to your headset that you have plugged into your headset jack. There is also a speakerphone key, seen here. The speakerphone key allows you to use your telephone speaker and microphone as opposed to your handset or headset. When I press this button, it allows me to do hands-free calling. And the microphone is seen here, on the bottom right of your phone. Or, if I want to, I can take my handset off hook. Again, the speaker is here, and I can activate it by pressing this button. When you're on a call, and you don't want the caller to hear what you're saying, you can press the mute button. Pressing the mute button mutes the audio coming from your side of the conversation. Let me demonstrate this very quickly by placing a call. Assuming that the caller picks up the phone, you'll notice that if I press the mute button, the mute button lights up and it's red. If I want to take the caller off of mute, I simply have to press the mute button again. The person I'm speaking to can now hear me. 
The volume control button allows you to control volume for your headset, for your speaker, or your ring volume. You click the up arrow to increase the volume, or the down button to decrease the volume. The soft keys are seen here. They are called soft keys because their function is context sensitive and changes depending on the specific menu, telephone event, or activity that you are engaged in. The scroll button to the left of the LCD window, seen here, helps you navigate through the menus when you need to go up or down in a list of options. Before I walk you through how to use the soft keys or function keys, let me demonstrate how you answer and make calls using your Shortel IP phone. Ringtones, the blinking incoming call icon, and the flashing red LED light in the top rightmost corner of your phone all identify an incoming call on your phone. A double ring signals an internal call, while a single ring signals an external call. Let me demonstrate an internal call. Did you notice how the red indicator LED blinks? The icon on your LCD screen has also changed. You can answer the call by simply taking your handset off hook. I then hear the audio through my handset. After you have answered the call by taking your handset off of the body or taking it off hook, you can also press the speakerphone button. When you press the speakerphone button, it allows you to speak into the microphone and hear the call through the speakerphone. If I want to hang up the call while I'm in the speakerphone mode, I simply press the speakerphone key again. If you do not want to pick up a call but would rather send the call directly to voicemail, you can press the 2VM soft key that dynamically appears when you have an incoming call. Let me demonstrate how this works. I can now select answer or 2VM. If I press the 2VM option, the call goes directly to my voicemail. Keep in mind that you can answer up to 16 calls with the proper system permissions. And if a new call arrives while you are handling an active call, you can press the blinking call appearance key and your current call will automatically be placed on hold while you answer the new incoming call. Let me demonstrate this for you. When you have an active call on your phone, you will most likely at times receive other calls simultaneously. So, let me show you how this would work. First, you'll notice that my secondary line appearance key is blinking. I can press this secondary line appearance key to answer the call and the call on my primary line appearance is put on hold. I can toggle between these two callers by pressing the appropriate line appearance key. At this point I'm using the speakerphone but if I want to I could pick up my handset which would transfer the audio to the handset. First, it is important to understand how the speaker and handset work together when making a call. If you pick up your handset, meaning you take it off hook, and make an outgoing call, your audio will be sent through your handset. Let me dial Yoshi at extension 1004. After Yoshi picks up the call, to hang up, I put the handset back on hook. Depending on how your auto off hook preference is configured, you can leave your handset on hook and dial the extension. Because I know Yoshi's internal number and my auto off hook is set to speakerphone, my speakerphone button lights up and I can then talk to Yoshi without having to take my handset off hook. I'm now listening to Yoshi over the speakerphone and talking to him through the microphone. If you would like to pick a specific line appearance for your outgoing call, you can first press your line appearance key and then dial the phone number or extension. First, I need to select a line appearance key. On my phone, I have several options to choose from. Now that I've selected a line appearance key, I then dial Yoshi's extension. That rings his phone. When I'm speaking to Yoshi or any other caller using the speaker phone, I simply have to pick up the handset to switch to the handset. If I have a headset, I can press the headset button. Don't forget that your headset needs to be plugged in to the proper jack. Regardless of what device I'm using, the mute button mutes the audio from my side of the conversation. And so, depending on your preferences, you can toggle between the handset, the headset, or the speakerphone option. When you're on speakerphone, your handset should be on hook. 